Hey YouTube fam, this is uh, your boy Bamit back with a, another video. Today we are with my sidekick Fran. We're doing a video on a moringa. Moringa. Oh, okay, a uh, moringa tree. I like to thank all of you for the well wishes on my surgery. My surgery went good. Got a good report on my follow up today. So my eyes are improving every day. But at this time, I'm going to let Fran tell you a little bit about the medicinal purposes and what this tree does. Okay, Fran. Okay. This is the Moringa Olaferia. Uh, Moringa is spelled M-O-R-I-N-G-A. My first knowledge about the Moringa tree, also known as the drumstick tree, was from Homestead Heart. She did a video on planting the seeds of a Moringa tree. So I went out searching for the seeds. Um, Grow a family was, was saying that they had found Moringa seeds in the supermarket. They live in, they live new, near, new, they, live, they live in new, Louisiana. Uh, and they found it in a grocery store. So I started looking in uh, Mexican look, uh, grocery stores for uh, the seeds. I could not find the seeds. I could find the powder. I wanted the seeds. When you get powder, you don't know what you're getting. But anyway, this is my tree. You can see that the trunk is, is pretty sturdy. All of this is from one season. I planted this in the spring. I grew mine from seeds, like I said. Uh, I found the seeds at, a, at the flea market. I bought a bag for $5 last year and, a, and I bought another bag this year. But I found that the seeds from last year was, um, was just as good as the ones that I got this year. And in the spring, I put the seeds, this is what the seed looks like. It looks like it has paper on it. Uh, some people take the paper off, some people don't. What I did was I took the seeds, paper and all, and put it in a damp paper towel, and put the damp paper towel in a Ziploc bag, and put it under my seat, sink in a um, warm, dark place. And every few days, I would take it out and look at the uh, look at it and see if it had germinated. And as soon as I saw the little root come out of the seed, that's when I would put it in the dirt. So uh, last year I grew one, but I understand people eat it. It's supposed to taste like horseradish. It's kind of spicy if you just take the leaves off. Some people put it in a salad. Uh, some people make smoothies out of it. Last year I grew the tree. I didn't eat it because I hadn't done my research. Um, Facebook family, you really do need to be careful about YouTube family. I'm sorry. YouTube family, be careful about when people tell you to eat stuff. You need to really do your research on it because one guy on his channel, he was saying that if you're a newcomer to Moringa, it could give you diarrhea uh, and that would not be good. So you kind of want to know how much you can eat if you're a beginner and how you should eat it, whether you should do the powder or a smoothie or juice it or what to juice it with, that kind of thing. Do your research before you eat it. So this year, this is, this is how big it has gotten. You can see how big the root is. This is just from one year. If, when I do it again next year, because I'm in 7B, it won't survive the winter here. It's too cold. You have to be able to put it in a warm space. This thing gets huge. You see how fast, how tall it has grown in just one season. If it was in the ground, it probably would be bigger than that. And next year, I'm going to put some in the ground, and I'm going to put some in the pot so I'll have more of it. By that time, I will figure out the best way um, to consume it. <coughs> this is known as a, um, a miracle tree. They're talking about sending these to third world uh, countries where there's a lot of famine because it, it, ha it has more iron in it than spinach. It outweighs oranges with vitamin C. Um, it has potassium in it. Um, the properties for, it, it, it's good for calcium. The properties in it for the nutritional value 
is really excellent for people uh, because it grows so fast and it's so prolific. It's excellent for people that are in a place where they can't get the proper amount of nutrition for, um, for their malnutrition. So they're talking about growing it in place. I think they already are in places so that they can um, work with that. It's also supposed to have be good for energy. It's supposed to provide a lot of energy. People um, uh, enjoy eating it for that. Um, um, what's the channel that we were looking at where they were talking about uh, um, the people that the couple that has all of the, the, the black tropical homestead? Black Tropical Forest, a homestead? Black Tropical Homestead. My soul, soul brothers and soul sister. Okay. Um, they talk, they grow Moringa. So you might want to watch their uh, channel when they talk about it. You might, might want to talk Homestead Heart and her channel where she talks about Moringa. Like I said, Homestead Heart was the first place I ever heard of it. And I went right out and started looking for places where I could get the seed. You can buy it. the plant. It's very expensive. You can. There's some other ways you can get it started, but they tell you that the best way to start it is from the seed. So if you can get the seed and grow it from the seed, that's the best way to really grow it. Um, there's a there's uh, there's a guy on YouTube that takes the leaves off and he dries them, not in direct sun. They say the best way to dry it is in is to freeze dry it. Well, most people don't have a freeze dryer. Those things are very expensive. So, but he says, put it in, when it's really on a really hot day, put it in a, uh, a bag, uh, a, a, a bag that's got a lot of holes in it and put it out and let it dry out naturally in the heat. And then he puts it in a blender or eaves or a food processor and he makes a powder out of it and he put the powder in capsules now, even he warns that when you put it in the capsule, the first couple of times you take the capsules, you're supposed to um, maybe take one or two until your body gets acclimated to it. Um, but I think it's a good thing to grow it because it grows so fast. I, I enjoy growing new things and hearing about new things, especially when they're supposed to have a value to it that helps you. supposed to be good for the arthritis. I suggest... YouTube family that you go online and do your own research because a lot of things after the fact there's now saying you can't eat certain berries when they're green and um, um, you're supposed to have them when they're this way or that way or you know certain kind of things you need to cook it twice and pour the water off of it if you don't know that and you eat it the wrong way it can make you sick so you really do need to be careful when people are telling you to eat stuff that is good for you. Anything you want to add? Only thing that I want to add is that uh, I am close to a hundred subscribers. I wish I had as many as Lead Farmer got, but uh, <laughs> right now I am uh, new. I'm beginning. Uh, my anniversary will be next month. I've been on YouTube for I'll be one year, the fifteenth of next month, and I really. Appreciate the support from Hands in the Dirt, Sunday Backyard Farmer, Lead Farmer, many, many more. I can't call all of them names, Odom Homestead. But we're thankful. But we're thankful for what I've got. And I'm also grateful for the shout outs that I've been getting to check and see how I'm feeling, how I'm doing about my eye surgery. So many, many blessings to all of you. Much love from Bamet and his sidekick friend. And that'll be Bammit out.